Hello there. Today is, you guessed it, day 12 of You Got This series, uh, the devotional series that I'm uh, hosting on my channel. I hope you guys are following. If you're not, uh, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started with day 12. If you haven't seen my other videos, they are on my homepage. Um, I hope you guys are following along. And if not, I hope you find what works for you. If you've ever felt depressed, anxiety, uh, sad feelings that don't go away for a while. Um, I know I felt that before. So, all right. On to day 12. Handpicked with Brady Boyd. No matter what you're facing, there is a God who longs to help you navigate through every twist and turn of life. Nothing you've said or done could ever disqualify you from his affection. His greatest desire for us is for, hold on, sorry, let me start again. His greatest desire is for us all to become a part of his family and experience the joy of knowing that we are sons and daughters. And I want to just put of his, right? His sons and daughters. But either way. So the scripture for today is Luke 15, 31, 32. And I'm sorry again, my glasses are always misplaced and I don't have them. So these little, these letters are a little tiny for me. But either way, bear with me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for the ones that have been uh, bearing with me. Um, but Okay, so Luke 15, 31 to 32. My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But he had to celebrate and be glad. But we had to celebrate and be glad because his, this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Now, I don't know about you, but recently I experienced several deaths that of people who were in my family and or people that I loved as family um, in the year of last year, the end of last year, and then the beginning of this year, I had a cousin um, who passed away and it, it was really hard on my family. Um, we have come together and it's it's been pretty good. However, it's, it's very daunting. He was my age and it's, it's really hard for me to swallow that. Maybe he had mental health issues that were not addressed and maybe he just succumb to drugs or alcohol i don't know i don't know what happened however i just want you to know if you've ever felt alone or if someone in your family has ever felt alone please try to be there for them please try to look for things that make you happy for things that are not harming your body um Either way, I'm not here to preach. I'm sorry <laughs> for getting off course. But either way, I felt I felt like someone needed to hear that because losses to substance abuse and losses to alcohol, things that may have been prevented are really, really extremely hard. Honestly, I, I can't stress that enough. And uh, I mean, in the past, I, I have become, you know, subject to addiction because I didn't know that I had ADHD. Um, or underlining issues or any problems in my brain like I didn't know that but either way on to the activity um, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal any lies you believed about God's love for you that's number one number two read Romans eight fifteen through 17 write down how this passage spoke to your heart now I have a Bible um, app on my phone i don't know if you guys have that or you you guys have the real bible um whatever you want to use but please try to read the romans 8 15 to 17 part of the activity um also number three is fill in the blank on the following declaration the declaration is because i am a child of god i can blank that's where you fill it in now think of two other ways you could respond to this statement and write them below. Okay, well, again, wine can be very, uh, for me, it's wine. Wine is my weakness. So I had to, you know, I was drinking one cup of wine a day. This was a long time ago, <laughs> just in case my corporate, <laughs> corporate America gets a hold of this. But um, either way, I was drinking one glass of wine a day 
at work. It was making me feel so happy, but I was thinking, oh my God, am I becoming addicted to wine? Like every day, I think that's a problem. But either way, be vigilant of, you know, what you're partaking in, what activities you're partaking in and hold yourself accountable for them as well. Um, either way, love y'all. Don't be too hard on yourselves either, but have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon. Goodbye.